be more like a, I think July will be like three long weekends, like a Wednesday late afternoon, early evening to Sunday late afternoon. So how you would position those camps for all-star uh, or AAU tournaments. Uh, yeah, I mean, I still think people will do their thing. Right. And kids will play in those things. But it will put a premium on those. On those. I mean, those will be real expensive places on the beach, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. how, how does the NBA, CBA, the two-year rule thing, was that discussed at all? Yeah, I don't know if that's being discussed at all right. by the NBA. I, I have, my feeling is it, it isn't. That doesn't mean it won't. But uh, you know, to me, what they're talking about is mostly money, hard cap, money. Right. Which really, that's what they should be. Should be doing. I still wish we were further along in basketball, where we had a lobby, where, like somebody was in charge, where we could have lobbied the players' union and the NBA to whatever position we had. You know, we can I, we can't say what our position for college basketball is in that regard. Each coach could give you their individual position, but like Jim Haney, who runs our coaches association, he should be able to tell somebody, "This is our <coughs> position as coaches. This is what." And hopefully that day will come at some time. But, but the bad thing is the, the, this collective bargaining agreement. May not come up for another decade, or, <laughs> so this is your window of opportunity, and it may not even be discussed. This is a